Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to Durga Soft. Welcome to Durga Soft online training. And uh, sir, welcome to Python course, core and advanced Python course. Sir, here we are going to discuss about uh, both core Python and advanced Python. Nothing but object oriented principles and some extra stuff we are going to discuss as a part of uh, advanced python okay then let me introduce myself sir i am prakash babu having 12 years of experience in various programming languages and uh, i handled almost 20 batches in our durga soft uh, regarding this python okay and currently i am handling core java batches advanced java batches core java batches advanced java batches okay sir full stack java developer batches python batches and uh, logic based programming of course you know some of the people are coming from logic based programming batch only sir logic based programming batch so these batches i am handling currently in our durga soft logic based programming in the sense where we are going to concentrate only on coding area okay after seeing that logic based programming when i am writing the code very shortly in python with less number of instructions majority of the people are trying to learn python okay of course one fine day with 20 to 30 minutes duration i will explain about this logic based programming what is the importance of that course also we will discuss sir that's all about uh, uh, my introduction nothing more than that and let me discuss about our course agenda and what concepts we are going to cover all these things sir here the title of the course is nothing but core and advanced python okay then the duration of the course is nothing but exactly sir 45 hours we are going to finish this particular course in 45 hours and uh, the timings of this course is nothing but sir every day at 6 30 a.m we are going to start the session up to 7 30 a.m it will be there sir on both monday to friday sorry monday to sunday every day every day we are going to have a session okay sir there is no half at all so if possible we will take one or two days half in the weekends but maximum saturday sunday i am going to take the session Sir, what is the fees for this particular course? Okay. Sir, rupees 7,000. Rupees 7,000 is nothing but the fees. You are going to satisfy with this fees after finishing of your course. Okay. Sir, next and after that, if I want to register for this course, to whom we have to contact? Sir, 8096-969696. This is nothing but uh, the contact details if you want to contact to this number okay then sir what syllabus what syllabus we are going to cover as a part of this python sir already this syllabus is there in our youtube channel sorry in our durga soft website one minute let me show you Yeah, this is nothing but the syllabus which we are going to discuss. Okay, language fundamentals, operators, flow control, string data type, list data structure, tuple data structure, set data structure, dictionary data structure, functions, modules, packages, pattern programs, object oriented multiple parts, exception handling, file handling, multi threading. Python database programming, regular expression and web scrapping, decorator functions, generator functions, assertions, Python logging. So this information we are going to cover. Of course, it is the tentative syllabus only. I added in detail uh, syllabus also. Just I will copy paste our syllabus, which is 
which we have discussed for the previous batches sir the syllabus which i framed just a matter of one minute i will copy paste and then from that you can able to guess what things we are going to cover okay first let me demonstrate the syllabus yes this is nothing but the syllabus which we are going to discuss okay sir in these unit wise i prepared just to have a look once in the first chapter we are going to discuss about introduction to the programming are first of all what is the need of going for programming what is mean by language what is mean by programming language sir what is uh, what are the different types of programming languages available what is mean by translator compiler versus interpreter and example program for compiler interpreter okay because we need to learn the basics before going to any programming language right sir as a part of this we are going to discuss about the uh, introduction part sir after completion of this then we are going to discuss introduction to the python in this introduction to the python we are going to discuss history of the python are who invented python so what is the reason for uh, introducing this python what is the reason for introducing this python course okay python language so for the programmers so what benefit you are going to get from this sir next and after that uh, sir what is the official website of python okay so from that you can able to see documentation okay any other extra information if you want to get from python officials you can able to get from this official website and where we can use python there are n number of application areas are there sir almost we can able to see uh, as of now sir 90% of the industry is using 90% of the software industry is using python at least in one of their tool also so maybe they are not developing the complete project by using python so just they are developing at least one unit also one module also on this python so that much de dependency uh, they have with uh, python without python even they are unable to write the code for some projects because the tools are like that okay sir so recently almost one week back also there are some articles which which is giving the complete information about python without python sir next 10 years it is highly impossible to sustain in the industry so that much importance is there for python okay sir pin to pin after completion of the program after completion of this course sir i will give the guarantee that you, be, you will become so expert in the programming language okay sir next and after that uh, what approach python is going to follow this is nothing but the biggest benefit what we have sir because python is nothing but all rounder sir all rounder in the sense uh, sir we can write scripting programming you can write functional programming you can write object oriented programming sir multiple concepts are supported by python that's why sir python is nothing but all rounder based on your requirement you can change it then sir which companies are using python including google every company is using python that part we will see with proof sir why the name python what is the reason sir majority of the people are going to feel python means a big snake no that is not the terminology sir there is one small secret is there we will discuss that part in our regular sessions okay sir next and after that after completion of this we are going to discuss about different versions of python sir initially they released one python version it is not that much popular and they try to install uh, they try to introduce one more version that is also not up to the mark then they came with a final version now officially there are three versions but in that third version again some divisions are there sir we will discuss in detail about those divisions also sir what things are there that part we will discuss next sir how to execute python programs in offline compilers as well as online compilers so online compilers means what so many tools are available in the internet by using those tools we can able to run sir that part also we will discuss offline compiler means what sir you have to install software 
into your mission you have to install the software into your mission so how to install the software how to download the software everything with live i will explain okay next sir what commands are there to execute the python program sir i have a python program i developed i want to execute the python program but basic commands are required right those things also we are going to discuss okay sir next and after that fundamentals of python so if you want to prepare python program some standard steps are required those things we are going to discuss and uh, what are all the data types available in python okay next and after that what are the input and output statements because if you want to read and if you want to write io statements are mandatory right that part also we are going to discuss as a part of this course okay sir next and after that operators so what different operators are supported by our python and the control flow statements like if conditions else if looping statements while loop do while sir each and everything we are going to cover here after this in detail about this data types sir there are important data types are there sir we can call it as a data structure sir st string data structure we are going to cover uh, in detail how to create the strings what are all the special functions available sir i want to convert to lower case to upper case and upper case to lower case or i want to find out the substring like this n number of uh, operations we can perform on strings sir trust me almost 30 to 35 functions are available on strings sir using those functions happily you can work based on our requirement you can choose appropriate functions okay then sir next uh, list data structure sir what is mean by list how you can able to create a list in your uh, python program sir how you can work with that list something like array only sir something like array only sir where a group of elements we are going to combine then we are going to discuss about tuple data structure sir what is mean by tuple how you can able to create a tuple sir how you can work with the tuple data structure all these things sir next and after that we are going to discuss about set data structure and then dictionary sir the most powerful data structure in the complete python is nothing but dictionary only because sir somewhere you have seen frequency of the words sir how many vowels are present so in a sentence all these things you can capture by using dictionary data structure in our logic based programming almost 20 to 30 programs we are completely writing based on the dictionary concept okay sir next and after that very very important functional programming sir if i want to create a function so how you can able to create okay sir what basic requirements are there okay parameters return types anonymous functions recursive functions types of variables filter function reduce function function aliasing nested functions decorators generators modules how to create modules how to create packages all these things and uh, sir as a part of a predefined library these things are not there in the syllabus sir i want to explain math module predefined math module is there sir how many methods are there in the math module sir what benefit python is going to provide by using this math module similarly calendar module sir we can print directly calendar on the screen tomorrow i will explain the program related to that then how you can work with the date and time sir i want to print the time date in my own format like i want to print sir 6th december 2021 yes you can write a program to print in that style sir i don't want a complete word called december just i need only dec yes happily we can write sir i don't want 2021 i want to display only 21 it's yes, no problem you can do that okay sir 0102 i want instead of 123 yes you can do that sir n number of flexibilities are there even i want to display monday yes you can possible sir i want to display only mon yes it is possible all these things are there in the case of time module i will explain in detail about that time module nothing but date and time module sir sir next uh, os module operating system related commands sir like uh,
consider in this we have so many folders are there sir i want to create a folder like this yes our os module is providing various functions for creating folders okay similarly sir very very important what is mean by mysql so if i want to store the data permanently in the database then we have to go for at least one database not only mysql either oracle or no sql any database we have to use sir if you want to store the information into the database so how mysql is used how you can work with that so how to create the database how to activate the database sir how to insert the records into the database all these things related to the database we are going to cover here sir after completion of this we will discuss in detail about uh, pdbc pdbc stands for python database connectivity sir here we are going to create a program to communicate with the database okay sir uh, inserting the data from python program everything we are doing in python program only it will reflect the data in the database then sir what is mean by file if i want to store any information to the file how, what functions are there so how you can work with the binary files csv files excel files okay audio and video files how to perform zip operation and non zip operation pickling of objects pickling means reading and writing objects how you can able to read how you can able to write objects then after coming from that sir an important topic we are going to discuss which is nothing but object oriented programming sir a very very important topic especially for the interviews and even in coding in coding real time coding standards also we are going to use this object oriented principles sir sir completely of course it is a some somewhat theory and uh, some basic things will be there you are going to apply these things in your real time scenarios okay so what are the various variables set or get or methods garbage collection relationship between the classes sir mr algorithm polymorphism overloading overriding sir super okay abstract public private protected str like this we have so many things are there sir next and after that regular expression what is mean by regular expression how you can able to write regular expression sir i want to validate a mobile number i want to validate a gmail id i want to validate a bike registration number so i want to extract all the mobile numbers from a file i want to extract a pattern from the file sir all these things how you can able to do okay then web scraping suppose i have a website link is there or i have a web page is there from that i want to uh, read okay all mobile numbers so from the website or from the web page or from the internet if you want to fetch data yes our python is providing various utility tools for that sir you can write a program to read contact information from the contact page so that part we are going to discuss with live example okay then exception handling sir a heart for every programming language so during execution of the program it is a very common for us to write the errors right so there these errors are classified into two types the errors which you are uh, creating in your program second one is nothing but even if your program is not having any errors while execution sir there may be a chance of getting error such a type of errors are called as runtime errors so we need to handle that runtime errors in our real time so how you can able to handle those runtime errors we are going to discuss in detail about uh, these runtime errors in your exception handling okay next what is mean by assertion how you can able to work with assertions sir finally multi threading what is mean by multi threading how you can work with multi threading multi threading means parallel execution of more than one thread okay then logging what is mean by logging how you can work with logging so how to create a log files all these things sir next and after that we are going to see some 100 pattern programs pattern programs in the sense maybe in your academic you have seen these type of patterns sir printing stars sir printing two stars next printing three stars okay i hope you have seen these type of uh, what you can call programs right printing four stars 
okay next and after that printing five stars like sir these kind of programs with the help of stars numbers alphabets in reverse direction in forward direction almost we are going to see approximately 100 programs on this okay this is nothing but our curriculum what we are going to discuss in our next 45 days okay sir today we are going to start the actual session i mean just i explained the syllabus from tomorrow we are going to start the session and uh, so almost after january festival you can able to expect uh, the syllabus which is going to be finished okay sir now i request everyone to please respond and if you are having any queries in your uh, uh, mind just yes you can post it on chat window so that we will interact with for a few minutes and then we can go with the next topics yes guys please confirm any doubts up to this yes please respond yeah whatever queries are there in your mind yes you can uh Vishnu is asking, are you going to provide any real-time project at the end of this course? Sir, this course is a ba basic fundamentals of Python course. Sir, we are not uh, uh, looking for any real-time projects because with the knowledge of core and advanced Python, you can't build a project. So for this, we need advanced tools like frameworks okay, or any other data science or data analysis, uh, analysis. So like that, we have to go for some other extra courses using which we can develop the projects not as of now for this we we don't have but whatever concept we covered with that we will prepare some projects how many python needed for aws how much how much percentage of python is needed for aws for aws maybe almost 50 to 60 percent is sufficient Uh, I'm basically from non-technical background. Will there any issues for me to learn? No, no problem. Uh, even mechanical, civil. So those those students also learning Python and they are happy. So no problem. You can you can happily learn. No issues at all. So from that I can give the guarantee. Definitely you will enjoy these sessions. Yeah, I am teaching Django. But as of now, first let me finish Python. Then you can go for Django. Mahendra. Yeah. Any other queries? Friends, please confirm. Right. The Django course fee, I don't know. So we need to contact admin people regarding that. Okay. Mm, any other queries? Please confirm. After this course, can I claim two years of experience? Oh, yes, you can. Definitely. How to pay for this course? I told right 8096-969696. You have to contact to this number. They will guide you all the things. Okay. Uh, do we get practice exercises daily? No, daily won't be there. But after completion of the program, I mean, whenever the programming concept is there, definitely I will give some exercises for you to solve. But at the end of our course, I will give the solutions for that. No, no, the material we are not giving. Running notes will be there. A beautiful running notes will be there. There you can get the complete information. I will show you the previous batch running notes. I'm interested for joining your logic based programming batch. Yes, of course. So almost 300 plus programs we are going to cover in that logic based programming. Okay. 
so the coding will be there in both uh, i mean in c language java and python definitely as a pre final year or final year student it will be very helpful for you people and even if you want to improve your uh, programming language skills definitely it will be helpful okay which course is good with python that's based on your uh, interest uh, sir suppose if you want to go for web based development then django all these things sir if you want to go for data science area sir i want to analyze the data sir i want to prepare machine learning applications artificial intelligence applications sir better to go with the full stack with the data science recording yes you are going to get recording as well as uh, running notes on daily basis okay but recording you can't download sir you can have a access up to 7 months only you can able to view the recording that's all okay so i will show you the previous batch running notes if i am doing only python can i get a job or not are you fresher or experienced person fresher means it's more than sufficient parallelly better to learn java also sir this is nothing but the previous batch syllabus i mean previous batch running notes you can able to see okay sir how to display the calendars uh, what we get more in logic based programming suppose if you complete python how it will be helpful yeah in the logic based programming you are going to get the programs in different genres okay like uh, one minute i will show you uh, the syllabus of logic based programming one minute yeah this is the syllabus see starting from the basic program to advanced programs you are going to see the beautiful programs almost uh, 320 programs are there as of now in our hand so here just i mentioned up to 165 sir we have the programs sir by using that you can able to practice almost 320 programs are there okay for every program solution will be there in c language java and python i will show you the running notes also okay sir see here import calendar print of calendar dot calendar of 2021 it is displaying 2021 calendar of course i will show you okay so uh, this uh, programs in the next tomorrow's session see how the running notes will be every point will be clearly explained with the help of examples okay everything with examples we are going to cover okay history of python where you can python python softwares sir which companies are using python you can see google youtube nasa instagram netflix etc almost all the companies are using python sir how many versions are there how you can able to work with that okay sir how to install python software all these things we are going to discuss sir comments in python i mean commands which are used in python okay sir python fundamentals how you can work with keywords identifiers sir features of python so data types how many data types are there in detail about this data types with example programs we are going to finish okay like this uh, running notes will be there for you people okay so like this we are going to see the running notes sir how many lines of code will be there almost 9000 to sir 12000 lines of code sir everything we are typing by manually and then i will show you okay so how to create the database sir i have written a python program to create a table in the database okay how you can able to run all these things regular expressions okay object oriented principles sir all these things we are going to see in detail okay this is nothing but previous batch running notes 
sir logic based programming running nodes if you want to see this is nothing but logic based programming running nodes sir where every program will be explained in various programming languages for example war of number some program is there sir i will explain the logic first and then c language implementation for that problem java implementation for that problem sir python implementation for that problem you can able to see if i want to solve in java how many lines of code we have to take if i want to solve in c language how many lines of code you have to take but if you can see in python if i want to solve how many lines of code you have to take sir almost uh, the instructions will be reduced sir okay sometimes you see only two lines but in java and python we have to write some kilometers of code but here only one or two lines is more than sufficient okay see only one line here so like that if you learn python definitely it will give kick start to your life okay as a programmer you can enjoy both python and lbp classes logic based programming so lbp class fees is very small i hope they may increase in future sir as of now it is 399 okay sir my sincere suggestion better to learn python java and logic based programming not as a part of our income i am telling this it is a good thing for every uh, up upcoming final year or pre final year as a student compulsory you should learn these things which will, which will be very helpful for you people in your career okay uh, how if i learn python and aws it is enough to get the job in cloud is there anything else as of now that's all yeah sir any queries please if any queries please let me know if no queries from your side please acknowledge me if no queries from your side please acknowledge me <clears throat> yeah regular classes are from tomorrow onwards just today also regular class only but just i explained uh, demonstration that's all syllabus explanation all these things duration of the logic based programming is nothing but almost it will take 2 to 3 months course because we need to explain we need to elaborate each and every programming right that's why no 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 not 45 just we have given as a 45 uh, for logic based programming not 45 sir it will take around 60 to 70 hours yeah as of now it is not started i will inform you once if it is started probably this month end we are going to start a regular batch i will inform you yeah to become a python developer these two are sufficient core and advanced python is a sufficient right yes okay friends that's all about uh, today's session we will meet for the continuation tomorrow sir log in 5 minutes before yeah yeah interview questions we will we will try to cover okay we will try to finish that interview questions also okay logic based weekend batch it is working it is running if you want you can get registered for that every saturday and sunday at 4 o'clock sorry uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning 10 to 1 yeah every day the set timings are same 6:30 you have to log in okay maybe one or two minutes delay but exactly at 6:35 like that i will start okay we will continue up to 7:30 7:35 like that sometimes if topic demands we will finish up to 7:45 also sometimes mahendra you are talking about python or logic based yeah python you can continue with the regular because 
python weekend batches is not as of now not planned logic based you can join weekend if you have a time in the weekend or if i want to learn both daily basis means so you have to wait for another couple of weeks okay uh vijit kumar very important question you have asked do we need to know programming language before starting lbp yes at least one programming language knowledge must be required to join into logic based programming batch at least one either c or java or python compulsory one programming language knowledge must be required okay yes sir thank you guys we will meet for the continuation on tomorrow so tomorrow regularly we are going to take the sessions okay yeah thank you thank you for attending the demo